Hey, so this is just a quick video in response to what's basically an entire mob of weeaboo contrarians who think mass genocide is suddenly acceptable because you're a victim of atrocities. Uh, my plan isn't only to try explaining how disgusting Eren's plan is on a moral scale, but also just how it's objectively not the right move to make. In fact, I think that there might be a chance Eren's plan has a twist and he's not going to follow through with it just because it makes it just kind of doesn't really make any sense the way he's going. Anyway, uh, let's debunk this idea that the treatment of the Eldians somehow means that mass genocide is acceptable, okay? A small list of the shit that the Eldians have been through include imprisonment, oppression, indirect murder, direct murder, horrifying transformations into monsters, and so much more. Now here is Eren's plan. The absolute extinction of every man, woman, and child that isn't his race. People that don't even know about Paradiso or have any real opinion on Eldians will be slaughtered. People like making analogies to the Third Reich when talking about Attack on Titan, but I think slavery works better here in this situation, okay? Imagine if 100 years after the Emancipation Proclamation, okay, slaves were freed 100 years ago, this is the 1960s, blacks are still being oppressed, you know, civil rights are still an issue, okay? One day, Every single black person decided that they would exterminate every other white person on the planet, okay? With no prejudice, every white person. Wouldn't most people be against that? Wouldn't it seem like extreme overkill and completely over the top in reaction to what they've been through? Yes, slavery was terrible, we all agree with that. But that doesn't mean that every white person should be eliminated many years, many decades after the fact. In Attack on Titan, it's like, it's, it is centuries, plural ago. Like, I don't understand how people think this is okay. It gets even worse when you consider the fact that Eren holds, it's like, supreme power and could completely suppress every nation on the planet without huge losses if he really wanted to. Armin said it himself, okay? This isn't bullshit. Like, this has been said. If Eren wanted justice, he could just demilitarize each nation and rule with his own ideals instead of going on some insane crusade that achieves nothing but just senseless murder. Now, an argument I've seen to this is, well, people would simply revolt and fight back against Eldia the same way Eldia fought back against them. And once again, you're forgetting that Eren might as well be God, okay, with the power he holds. As long as he can find a suitable heir to carry out his ideals once his term expires, he can easily stop any revolution against Eldia. It. <sighs> I just. I made this video to get this out here because I'm. I'm tired of these edgy fucks defending literal mass genocide against it it had to stop so this is a quick video because i know all my talking videos are long as fuck i just need to get that up okay video done